It's here! <laughs> We're gonna meet him! <laughs> Welcome back to another vlog. Tonight we are unwinding at Universal Orlando for Pass Holder Appreciation Night. It's our first one, so come along with us. really easy process it took less than five minutes it's getting busier but um, I think that opened at 4 so it's 5 30 now they gave us a cute little annual pass holder magnet our first one at Universal so that is fun uh, we got wristbands to go in so I know that we'll be checking that throughout the night they gave us a little scan QR code thing to give us like the basically like the event details like the map and now we are headed into Universal we're gonna go watch the parade. It starts at six and we haven't seen it. So it's a newer parade and I think it's only here for this summer. So we'll show y'all some footage of that as we get in. So it was a short parade. It wasn't really like a marathon parade. Like no, it's uh, good though. Mardi Gras was significantly longer. Yeah, I felt like so. Uh, it was great though. Like it had some classic movie scenes. Um, our spot was great, and we just walked right up to it too. So like we were inside in the Five and Dime, looking at some of the pass holder merch beforehand, and uh, th there wasn't a ton in there. There was actually a lot of um, Halloween Horror Night stuff that was in there. So yeah, now we're just walking across after everything is kind of cleared out from the parade. We're just walking across to Central Park, gonna take a couple minutes to chill and maybe uh, strategize about getting some food because I'm getting hungry. Okay, so we're currently just kind of waiting around for the pass holder night to actually start after the parade. There's about like a 30 minutes in between the parade and when the pass holder and I actually start. So right now it just seems like there's just like a lot of pass holders like standing around waiting because none of the like pass holder stuff that's available for the night is available currently. So it's about 6.50. We're waiting near Louis because that's where we want to eat. So once that opens, we will be chowing down. Chris got the pizza fries. Do you want a fork here? Take the fork so you can actually Sanitation. try them out. They look good. It took forever to get them. You're not gonna believe this, but they taste like pizza on, french on top fries. of french fries. Oh. Well, there you have it. The line was very long to get them. We waited probably 30 minutes in total. Really but you like them? Yep. I want to try. Oh, so yeah, the tacos. Ooh, well, it's good. <laughs> yeah. I like that. I'm glad I got my own, and I'm going to eat all of it. That's good. Okay, we'll go eat now. And I got our free salad cup, and I got it activated, and I think I paid too much money, because I think it was already activated, but I didn't know that, so. Nice. Totally did away with the discount. Oh, well. <laughs> She's loud. All right, pizza fries were had. Um, they're pretty good. A nice carby treat. Now we're walking towards the Men in Black area because there's some character meet and greets. I don't know if that's the right word. What is it? Character meet and greets. But we're gonna go meet a little, a little friend that I saw on 
the Facebook group that people were meeting. So um, we're gonna go see. And also, it looks I, like I don't get all the hype. I live with a literal skunk. So I haven't like, told him what it was yet. Oh, sorry, I ruined it. It's skunk. We'll bleep that out. They're setting up for Halloween Horror Nights, so this will be one of the scare zones, the Blumhouse scare zone. I don't even know if y'all can see that very well right now. Once I get closer. Oh, fun. So we're in a theme park with all these rides right now, <laughs> and we are literally spawn camping a freaking skunk. I want to meet the skunk, and I, Chris is a the, Chris is very demure. What? Chris is the best, I, and he's waiting. That is not what with demure me. means. But I'll allow it. We have skunks at home, though. We better not. Well, they're more dangerous. Oh. But, but that's why this one's not dangerous. So I want to meet him and give him a little pet. Oh just a little pat on the head. Just a good little skunky. Because he's probably never been told that before. I bet he was told like 30 times last night. Maybe. I'm going to be but the one that you. tells him tonight. Yeah, you might change his life. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's a skunk. It's here. We're going to meet him. <laughs> I can't wait. You're going to stay right here in the middle? Dusty the skunk and he was very soft and I loved him a lot. She went to a theme park, saw a rodent. I will say everybody else in line was also very excited. So why? Like where does Universal come up with this crap? Like where are the people? They're just like, hey, I would love to see a skunk. Please. Was it themed? There was a very like, was long it from ride. something? Like no, if it was... no, he was eating little pieces of potato, I think. It was very cute. So it's not even like the cat from Sabrina the Teenage Witch or anything that you know like has story or I would like also a be real very name. Excited to meet Salem as well. But we're in DreamWorks land now. I think we're going to maybe ride the roller coaster. We have some friends with us, and we're all adults, and we're going to ride that, because why not? Murr. 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 So we ended up not going on the roller coaster. So E.T. was 35 minutes long wait, and roller coaster was 25, which is interesting, considering... I was heard online that wait times for everything were really short. Now, they could be, like, inflating them, but... I don't know. But DreamWorks Land at night, different vibe than when we came during the day. Super, super fun over here. Less King Julian though, so... We love King Julian. It's 8.45 and the show starts at 9.30. The fireworks drone show. So, we'll see. I just need an extra good face. All right, we're gonna try here. Good background music. Oh my, oh, that's, oh. A, that's a block of icing. All right, what's the inside like here? There's like a funfetti cake. What kind of icing we got? We I got the cream cheese know. or? No. That's a lot of sprinkles. You don't really like sprinkles. I don't. It's not bad, it's a little aggressive. But it's not too bad, you wanna try it? Yeah, give me a bite. Here, flip the camera around. It's okay, they can imagine me eating this. Oh. Yes. It's like cotton candy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
that's what the flavoring is of this top part, which it looks like cotton candy now that you think about it. It's not I've, bad. I have a it's refined cute. palette. Look at this look. Demure. <laughs> very demure. Very cute. Very refined. This is cute, even though I'm not going to eat it because I hate these kind of things. But give, it, give it here. Yep, that's fake. By the time this vlog goes out, the demure thing is going to be extinct, so people will be like, so old. It's going to date the vlog, oh no. Are we leaving? I don't know where they went. Oh, all right. We're going to go um, find leave. our friends and probably go watch the show. It's about time. Yeah, it's getting time. I can't wait. Take me home. We officially made it through Grass Holder Night. Did you have fun? Yeah, it was super fun. It was fun. It's been a minute since we've been over here, so I'm glad we did it. Yeah, but it's really nice that they do it because lines were short, there were extra meet and greets, there was some extra food, all that kind of good stuff. So it was fun. I'm glad that we got to come and do it, and uh, we'll definitely be back if we're able to get tickets next year or reservations or whatever you want to call it. It's about what 10:30, 10:15, and the event ends at 11. So we are just gonna call it a night because we're tired and we've been here since four o'clock. Uh. <laughs> Take 16 on our outro. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'm Alex. And I'm Chris. And don't forget to do something that helps you unwind today. Bye y'all. got it. <laughs>